Hello, in this lecture we're going to record a transaction related to the receipt of cash for work that had been done in the past. So we are here, we're receiving cash, we're going to imagine we're receiving the cash in the mail for work that wasn't done today but was done at some point in the past. We're going to record this in terms of the accounting equation, that being assets equal liabilities plus equity. It's important to start to note what type of accounts are asset accounts, what type of accounts are liability accounts, what type of accounts are equity accounts. Asset accounts include cash, accounts receivable, supplies, liabilities include accounts payable. Equity includes the capital account as well as the entire income statement, which will have the revenue or income and all expenses accounts, including in this case, wages expense and utilities expense last time we recorded the transaction where we had a uh, increase in the receivable so here's the receivable and the other side of that transaction was revenue putting us in balance just from that one last transaction that we had this time of course we are receiving cash so first question i would always ask is cash affected and we're going to say yeah cash is affected we received cash here's the cash being received in the mail Probably would be a check in real life, but it's the same thing for our purposes here. So we're going to say, yeah, cash is going up. We know that. That's pretty easy to see. What's the other side? Why are people paying us cash? You might say because we earned it and therefore think that we should be recording that to revenue. But we can already see that revenue already has that 10000 in it. We already recorded it in revenue when, when we earned it under the revenue recognition principle. And therefore, what really happens is we need to bring down what's called the IOU account, which is what's called the <laughs> accounts receivable account. So receivable is going to go down. So let's see if that is the case here. We're saying that our transaction cash is going up here. And the other side is that the receivable is going down. So assets are going up and then the receivable is going down, which is another asset. And that's a bit strange. Assets went up, assets went down. So in terms of the accounting equation, there's really no effect on the accounting equation because one asset went up, one asset went down. When we move to debits and credits, that will actually make a bit more sense because we'll never have a transaction that doesn't have a debit and a credit. But in this case, in terms of the accounting equation, this one can be a little bit tricky in that way. No effect on anything because assets went up and down, no effect on the liabilities, no effect on the equity section. Also note that there's no effect on net income even though we received cash. Why? Because under the revenue recognition principle, we already recorded the revenue last time. This is the last journal entry uh, when we earned it. Note that we can also bring these numbers down and add up the full accounting equation. So we had zero cash plus the 10,000. We're at 10,000 now. Uh, we had the accounts receivable 10,000 minus the 10,000 here. Now we're at zero. We brought the supply zero down. We brought the accounts payable down. We brought the capital down. Revenue was at 10,000. Nothing happened this time. We're still at that 10,000. We brought the zeros down for wages, brought the zeros down for utility. Therefore, left-hand side, the 10,000 plus zero plus zero equals this 10,000. And on the right-hand side, this zero plus this zero plus that 10,000 for revenue plus zero plus zero equals 10,000, meaning that assets equal liabilities plus the equity for both the transaction as well as the balance after the transaction.